Man, listen. Oh, I have so many different inspirations, man. I want to say for photography, because it goes both ways. I got a different inspirations for graphic design, and I got different inspirations for photography. When it comes to photography, man, I want to say it's a few different inspirations. One of my biggest inspirations is this young lady. She's in the Hampton Roads area. She's Hampton Roads based. Her name is Amina McKenzie. She is fire, bro. She's amazing. Amina, if you ever see this, I just want to let you know you're super dope. Uh, and it's so funny because I remember when she actually started. I remember when she actually started. And we were always like friends on social media, but we just never met. And I still haven't had the chance to meet her, but I would love to meet her one day. I would love to meet you one day. You're super dope. One of my biggest inspirations for photography, period, point blank. Um, another one of my inspirations is my boy, um, my boy Christian. He goes by play. Uh, he's actually a rapper. He's a part of Breeze Park. It's a local group down in the 757. Uh, me and him actually started this photography shit together, low key. Uh, we was actually shooting around that same time, me, him. My boy Koontz, that's also one of my inspirations, man. He helped me get started. Shout out to my boy Micah. Um, yeah, him, all of them boys, man. They're just so dope, yo. Uh, and a lot of the different great photographers in the 7.5, really, that's where I see most of my inspiration. A lot of us follow each other on, on, um, on Instagram, man. Like, a lot of us follow each other and a lot of us I think kind of inspire each other but we don't try to um, bite each other's style but we all kind of look up to each other in a sense so shout out to the 7-5 man I think the 7-5 all the artists in the 7-5 is really my biggest inspiration man for real for real wow um, a lot of downfalls man I've been going through a lot of ups and downs as a photographer, but as a photographer, it just comes along with the business, I believe. As far as me, I want to say one of the biggest downfalls I have, it's not, yeah, okay. One of the biggest downfalls I've, I've dealt with was getting turned down, like aggressively turned down. Having somebody tell you constantly like, Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't what I asked for. That ain't it. Oh, I want a refund. You know, hearing that stuff early or having people constantly tell you like, oh, this is good, but this is not, this could be really, really better had you would have did this. Like, um, and I know that it's, I know that that's advice. And I don't, I don't, I do great with criticism. Like I do great with harsh criticism, but it's just, when I first started, when I first started, um, that was kind of hard for me back then. Like criticism was hard for me back then. So if for this is my advice to anybody who wants to be a photographer or in any type of industry, regardless. But you're gonna have to take hard criticism. It comes along with the territory. It's gonna be hard to deal with at first because, like I just said, that was one of my biggest issues was getting criticized. Uh, but. That that was one of my downfalls, but it comes along with the with, with the game, man. And it's just it it, but it builds you. I think it really builds you up. Cause had I not got criticized by a lot of different people, I really wouldn't be where I am today. But that was really something hard for me. Like it took me a while to get over that. Um, another issue that I have or that I've had with being a photographer is dealing with certain clientele. Also a big issue, a lot of times friends, man, like I love my friends to death, but friends are not good clients. They're always going to look out for, they always want you to look out for them or they always want discounts. And you can't always give discounts, man, because especially if this is your job and this is what you are living on and you don't have a other career, you can't always dish out discounts to people, you know? Um, so that's, that's kind of hard too because I'm a nice guy and I just like to help out. I like to try to look out the best way I can, man, but you know, you just got to get over that. You know what I mean? The best advice that I can give is to please do, please do not get intimidated. Do not get intimidated. And I say that because if you walk around and you see a bunch of different other people 
who are photographers, they could be on the same level as you. They could be above the level that you're on or a higher level that you're on. But if that's what you're really passionate about, then you have to keep going. Like we was talking about, if you have to keep, if you have to keep going. And I also want to say that it's important for you guys to find your niche. Please find a style of work that you love to do. It's, it's okay to be inspired and it's okay to, to look up to, to, to different people because we all have inspiration. We all look up to a lot of different people, but it helps you out when you take what you learned from them and what you got inspired, you know, whatever, whatever they inspired you to do, take that and then put it into your own format. You know what I'm saying? Do, do your version of it. Find, find, find what you love and you do it. You know what I mean? And you stick to that niche, you do it. Whether it's fashion, whether it's uh, weddings, whether it's landscape, whether it's whatever. It doesn't have to be photography. You know what I'm saying? Just find your niche and whatever whatever drives you to, to, to take those pictures or to do whatever you want to do. Um, just stay focused. Stay focused and um, and find your niche. But that's, that's really the best advice that I can honestly give. My graphic design side, I haven't done a photo shoot in about a good month or two maybe. It's been a while since I did a photo shoot because I've really just been pushing my, my art my uh my graphic design art but right right about now man i'm just focusing on trying to get better with uh i'm just trying to get better with with my graphic design bro like i've been in and out of that for so long man i know a bunch of people are mad at me too because i've been in and out of it and i've been playing around but i'm back for good now so i really just want to continue to push that and um and i want to start doing collaborations with my graphic design with other artists as well whether it's photographers musicians rappers singers whatever actors whatever i just want to i want to have my art help people i want to help people with my art and i want to make people happy with my art man like, i just want to bring joy man that's what i really want to do and that's what i really want to focus on now is just bringing joy with my art and making people happy with what i do you know what i'm saying uh, again my name is freddie james also known as Carlton London. Uh, you can follow me on IG at Carlton London. That's with a K. You can follow me on Twitter at Carlton London. That's with a K. Uh, follow me on Snapchat as well. I post up my work up there too. Carlton London with a K. Um, again, this was a very great experience. This was real dope. K London man from Suffolk VA. You dig? Oh yeah! Shout out to my people down at the ground up for holding it down, man. Look out for my boy Harleem. Look out for my boy Tay. They're the same person. They mad dope. Shout out to his team. Um, he got some good coming up for y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know when this interview gonna be released, but he got some some real dope coming up for y'all. Look out for him, man. He's, he's on the rise. His videos is dope. His photography is dope. Shout out to my boy, man. Shout out to the ground up, man. Y'all dope as shit, for real.